What's up, y'all? I am Marcus. This is Final Fantasy VII. The OG. The original. Oh, man. That flourish. Come on, newcomer, follow me. I do what the fuck I want to do. And I actually do want to follow you, so. Let's go. Guys, soldiers? Not soldiers. What are the? What was it? What was it? MPB. I can't help it, man. MPs. That's what they were called. You see the clock in the background? That's so cool, man. <laughs> I love these. I I actually. When I was a kid, I used to like not like the pre-rendered backgrounds as much because I was like, oh man, full 3D and I can control the camera. These days, it's come full circle and I actually appreciate the amount of detail that can go into the pre-rendered stuff a lot more. I can actually see the stairs down below where we, where we just came up. It's so sick. Both those potions can be found on the first body. I was not aware of that. That is really cool. Huh. Holy heck. Okay. Wow, you used to be a soldier, alright. Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Hold it, Jesse. He was in Soldier. He quit them and is now one of us. Check your chat rewards, guys. Didn't catch your name. All right. Somebody, you want to use some channel points? And you can get your name in the game. It's 100,000 channel points. <laughs> Hey, wow, you had a lot of points, HD. You had a lot of points. Uh, let's see, I don't think the whole thing will fit, so hold on. By the way, people wondering what channel points is. Actually, hold on, let me go back. I can do it like this. Is that a period? <laughs> Doesn't really look right. You just get them while watching and hanging out in chat. Hey, half damage. There we go. <laughs> half damage. Uh, one more. There's one more available for uh for Barrett. Half damage. Yeah, I'm. I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. Pat Scott, pure. Welcome back, guys. The hell are you all doing? I thought I told you to never move in a group. Our target's in the North Mako reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Oh, Master of Flies got it? Did he? Right. Ex-soldier, huh? Don't trust you. Let's see. Let's see, how can we do your name, Flies? How should we do this? I think I can fit Flymaster? We're not gonna be able to fit the of. Flyboy? Alright, you got it. You got it. Done. Fucking done. 
If you push the directional button while pushing the cancel button to run, earlier marked X. <laughs> Sick. We got half damage again. We got Flyboy. Dude, check out how good this shit looks. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say. Well, that one's up to you, David. <laughs> These guys. Guardhound? I can't remember what they're called. No, I can remember what they're called. They're called Guardhound. <laughs> Don't know, Malky. I haven't decided yet. By the way, well, I see, there's something I want to point out in order of explanation, but at the same time, I don't want to, like, hurt y'all's Final Fantasy VII experience, so I think I'll just keep it to myself. We want active, camera angle auto, okay, good shit. I'll secure the escape passage. Concentrate on the miss mission half damage. Jeez, we're really going to blow this huge furnace up. Furnace up? <laughs> That'll be something to see. God damn, I can't talk, dude. I can't talk. How's the audio balance, by the way, guys? Is this game a little loud? I mean, this game jams, so... It's good? All right. Yeah, I mean, I guess we have to do a tank cloud. Since he's going to take half damage. Cool range. What the hell? Although, to be fair, I normally do tanky clouds with cover and counterattack. That's like my favorite way to build him. Never end or welcome back. Stroff, thank you for the gifts to Mr. J, Doggy, uh, Hank, Stern, Heldon, and Away the Nopes. Thank you very much, Stroff. Yo, this is your first time on a reactor? <laughs> no, after all, I did work for Shinra, you know. The planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. Prov, welcome back. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just hurry. That's it. You're coming with me from now on. Don't know why they don't start him in the back row. He has a long-ranged weapon. This is initial equip. Biggs and I got the code for this door. Code deciphered. Yep, Vic Weave, it's called Sadness. Think of how many of our people risk their lives just for this code. Code deciphered. Man, this music. This sound this game's soundtrack is so stellar. Phoenix down, let's go. The remake soundtrack's kind of hit and miss. It's It's got its insane highs that are like God tier high. And then it's got some lesser, lesser tracks as well. But overall, the high points of the music in that one are really, really, really high. Little by little, the reactors will drain out all the life and that'll be that. It's not my problem. Planets die in half damage. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the Robo Guards come. Now, I really have a lot more appreciation for the pre rendered backgrounds now than I did um, back in the day, which, I mean, I liked, I liked the game back in the day, don't get me wrong, but. 
Like, just a greater appreciation for how fucking detailed these environments are. Kill that other mono drive, please! How old was I when I first played Final Fantasy VII? Uh, probably 14 or 15. It came, it came out same year as Tactics, right? But I think I played it the year after that. Because I didn't get it at first. I played Tactics first. I played it in 98, so... I was... Either still 14 and about to be 15 or 15. She just phases through the door. It actually opens for Cloud, but... And do you notice it changes the lighting, too? On the ground? Look at that, man! That's fucking sick! Sam, welcome in. I hope you're enjoying this stream. Hope you enjoy your emotes, too. Dude, this looks so fucking good. Ah, oh, I love it. You were only born in I-7, you wee babbies, you wee babbies. First ray. Luminu, welcome back. Oh, this battle theme is still... People ask me my favorite game soundtrack. I'm, I'm always hard pressed to not say Final Fantasy 7. Like, there's a lot of other games that have really phenomenal music, but I, I don't know that I can necessarily think of any that are better, if that makes any sense. Like, I just, like as, a, as an overall package, Automata's really good. P5's got some bangers, but it's also got some stinkers. The potion. She's just gonna give us instructions on how to climb a ladder. I know how to climb a ladder. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to eight and nine as well. Oh shit, accidentally went back the other way. Yes, they are doopy. Or at least I'm endeavoring to have them there. These guys. Grunt. If I remember right in this game, you can actually turn around by attempting to run when you're back attacked and get your characters turned around. I don't know if that prevents you from taking the additional damage that you would take from behind. Somebody in chat can... can help me out there. But I know you can tap L and R to start running away and then let go so that you don't run away and then your characters will turn to face the enemy. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if that actually changes the damage that you take. First save of the game. That is correct? Hell yeah. Doesn't affect anything. Ambush just means they go first. Do they not do additional damage from behind? Thought that they did. Yeah, it doesn't change row position, but I'm fairly certain that you take additional damage in pincers at the very least. I could be wrong. Yeah, I agree, Pierce. I I have become a really big fan of playing all these games on hardware. Like it's just you get so used to emulating stuff and playing ports and and so on and such that when you play the original, you're like, wow. <laughs> Wait a minute, where's all the problems? Wait a minute. Oh, right. <laughs> it doesn't have them. When we blow this place, this ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Half damage, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? 
Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, be my guest. Watch out. This isn't just a reactor. That high-pitched sound. What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong, half damage? Hurry it up. Yeah, sorry. Alright, let's bump the sound on this. See you on the other side of the boss fight, guys. Careful, attack while its tail's up. It's gonna counterattack with its laser. What they mean is if you attack while its tail is up, it's going to counterattack with its laser. And the way that it reads, attack while its tail is up. <laughs> it, it, it reads like a command, <laughs> not like an exclamation of, hey, don't do this. <laughs> Jeez, man. Ah, well. <laughs> Should be bopped soon. He's about to give Cloud his limit, which would absolutely finish the fight, but I think I'll just do a bolt. Guard Scorpion down. Oh, those sweet sound effects, dude. They're so satisfying. With the sound effects specifically, it's very difficult for me to separate whether it is nostalgia that makes me like them so much, or if it's just their good fucking sound effects. I kind of lean towards both, because I remember fucking getting a kick out of them the first time. Like, they're just so good. Come on, let's get out of here. 10 minutes to detonation. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I remember the first time I did this, I was like genuinely panicked and in a rush. I was like, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. I got to get on X Games mode. How am I going to get out of here? M3. Huh. I wonder if they just chose a random letter and number or if it's actually significant in some way. I just noticed one of the pipes was marked with M3. I actually have been noticing a lot of details that I haven't noticed on previous playthroughs using this upscale. You all right? My leg got stuck. My leg got stuck. Thanks. All right, Jesse. How am I gonna get out in 10 minutes? The only way you could not make it out is if you don't save Jesse and then you have to go back for her, I think. So 
so really only if you're an absolute dickhead. <laughs> it's the only way. Uh, you talking about Battle Square, Kohei? If it's Battle Square, I can help. If it's other Golden Saucer stuff, <laughs> everybody sucks at it. <laughs> Can leave if you don't save Jesse. My impression is that you can't open the door. So I don't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the the only way I think that you can screw this up is that if you don't save Jesse. By the way, completely random, but uh, you can climb this. There's no reason to. At all. Unless you just want to look up there. Just wanted to let you guys know. You can climb that fucking ladder. <laughs> you can. I don't know why. I like it. I like unnecessary shit, man. You can tell I like unnecessary shit. That's why I married my... <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, that's, that's cold. That's cold. Let's go! Code deciphered. Ah, shit, I was supposed to talk to her first to get the dialogues. I did get that Phoenix down from over there, right? I'm just playing, guys. Just playing. Yeah, no spoilers in chat, because there's potentially people here who haven't seen the game before. Also, Dream, how are you doing today, man? It's good to see you. Have you still been doing some Parasite Eve speedruns, or are you working on something else? Girl is clumsy as hell, man. Come on. The sound effects, man. I love it. That should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yeah. Okay, now everyone get back. <laughs> Those FMV flames, dude. All right, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. Hey, if it's about your money, save it till we're back at the hideout. Uh, probably not, Belmont. I will probably play those on original hardware if if I'm going to play them. I wonder if you can climb that ladder. I don't think that you can. Oh, no, you can't get to it because of the net that's here. All this fucking debris. Sorry, I just I, I do want to take my time and explore the environments in this run. Just looking at all the little details. I guess that's a Shinra banner up there. And one assumes all of this debris wasn't here before we blew up a damn reactor. <laughs> Man, you can actually see the Loveless poster pretty, or is it, I, I'm not sure if that's the Loveless poster or not. I'm not sure. You can see that poster pretty well, actually. Excuse me. What happened? Nothing. Hey, listen. Don't see many flowers around here. 
of these. Do you like them? They're only a gill. I'll buy one of those. Oh, thank you. Here you are. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Dude. Look at how much time they spent rendering this shit. Good lord, man. These environments are out of hand. You see the broken blinds in the back above this overturned vehicle? Where they like have that, that realistic deformation from the heat? <laughs> That's fucking wild, man. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Yeah, uh, sure, it's got limited animation, but, like, the details in this overturned table, or the overturned... Like, they, they actually modeled the undercarriage of these fucking vehicles just so they could show them flipped over here. The fucking... Oh, man. So wild. fountain just taking my time exploring around just what the hell's going on this is it wonder what's on the wall over there let's see don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet. Avalanche. How the map boundaries work on pre-rendered backgrounds? I'm assuming they just have trigger, trigger lines drawn. I'm not sure what you're asking about. They just have defined coll collision zones. Hey, you there. The flickering lights. Also, watch in the windows. You see the animation in the window up there? Wild. Absolutely wild. Twitch is shadow banning people that use VPNs. You had to turn yours off to send out that message. Hmm. I guess I'm not surprised, but hmm. Thanks for letting me know, Thor. What the? Hmm. Half damage, you gonna fight them all? Wait, let me rephrase that. Half damage, you gonna fight them all? <laughs> let me rephrase. These guys also MPs? Yeah. It's just more kills so that you can unlock your next limit breaks. It's no big. Yeah, I'm torn on it, Thor, because on the one hand, it's definitely annoying for viewers who are, are using VPNs. And on the other hand, I can understand some reasons why they might do that as well. Like... That, that makes sense, right? So I'm I'm really torn. Let's go. Fifteen and four, nine. You absolutely take more damage from behind, right? Nine. I need to get machine gun from the front. Let 
Machine gun me from the front, please. It was doing nine. From behind. This four from the front. Yeah, absolutely. I can't, I, I'm not sure who it was earlier that was saying you don't take additional damage from behind, but that's not true. I was pretty sure about that anyway because of the buster encounter. Half damage took half damage. Half damage takes double damage from behind. That's just damage. Hmm. That's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Half damage never came. Hey, what up, Joker? Half damage. Wonder if he was killed? Yeah, I wonder if there's a reason why they're being quiet about how they're doing it. Though. No way. Half damage. Tch. Say, do you think half damage is gonna fight to the end for Avalanche? The hell would I know? Do I look like a damn mind reader? If y'all weren't such screw-ups. Hey, Flyboy, what about our money? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Ah. Uh. Half damage. Looks like I'm a little late. You're damn right you're late. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. Nothing, just what I always do. It's no big deal. Just what I always do. <laughs> she, it, she, how do you, what, what are you fucking abbreviating there? Square? She, how do you say that? It's not shit. You're like cutting something out. Shit. 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 <laughs> shit. Flyboy says, shit. <laughs> Having everyone worried like that, you give a damn about no one but yourself. <laughs> the shrug. Hmm. You were worried about me. What? I'm taking it out of your money, hot stuff. Wake up. We're moving out. Follow me. Hey, half damage. You were great back there. Hey, <laughs> half damage. We'll do even better next time. They go out of their way to say that name over and over, don't they? Be careful. I'll shut this. I'd never really noticed that before, but they really, like... Oh, half damage. Your face is pitch black. They say his name over... Cloud. 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 Hey, hey Cloud. Hey, Cloud. There you go. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. No problem. Can I reopen that? No? Oh, I've seen Mission Abridged. Yes, I have. I have Team Four started a pretty good job with this game, I have to say. Where do I begin? <laughs> Last train out of Sector Eight Station. Last stop is Sector Seven Train Graveyard. Expected time. Uh, excuse me. Expected time of arrivals is 12:23 a.m. Midgar Standard Time. This is why I hate the last train. Ooh, boy. Huh? This is my house, so make yourselves at home. He 
You see the headlines in the Shinra Times? The terrorists that bombed the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor? They sure put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. Hmm. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. <laughs> Amen, Barrett. Seems this train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that'll change by tomorrow. Oh, that sure took its toll on me. I'm gonna sleep until we get to the station. Someday Avalanche is gonna be famous. And me too. I'm pretty famous, Wedge. Half damage. Don't you think I got a bright future ahead of me? What do you have in mind, buddy? All my life, I felt like nothing but a sidekick. But after joining Avalanche and trying to save the planet, I feel like I can do lots of things. Hmm. Hey, half damage. You want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know, flashy stuff. It's my pleasure, QC. This, this marathon's been a really good idea so far. <laughs> okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about one ten thousandth scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. A main support structure holds the plate up in the center, and there are other support structures built in each section. Psst. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. And there's number two, three, all the way up to the number eight. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's the kind of place this is. I hope you enjoy it, Unicycle. It's a fantastic game, as I'm sure you know. This is next, look. This is the route this train is on. The route spirals around the main support structure. We should be coming around the center area right now. At each checkpoint, an ID sensor is set up. It can check the identities and background on each and every passenger on the train by linking up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. Anyone could tell that we look suspicious. Some are using fake IDs. Speak of the devil. That light means that we're in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. <laughs> you know, I always... Somehow when I whispered at that time, it, it, it read kind of differently. That was... Instead of... <laughs> instead of coming across like she's worried about creeps, it kind of sounded like she was promising that she is a freak herself. <laughs> I'm freaky cloud. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Anyhow, we're almost back now. That's really, I don't know if it's because of how they did her in the remake that I get that impression. I know. Next time, I'll give you one I made myself. It doesn't matter what we choose, but looking forward to it. Okay, then I'll put in a little extra effort and make it with a bang. And she ends up blaming herself as a result, we're almost there. After talking with you, I really want to do it. Oh, really? You, oh, you want to do it? I think you've lit my fuse. Oh, hey. I'm seeing stars. This sucks. I hate the dark. Don't act so damn big, fly boy. Look, you can see the surface now. The city don't have no day or night. If that plate weren't there, we could see the sky. A floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You just full of surprises.
the upper world, a city on a plate. It's because of that fucking pizza that people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. And why doesn't everyone move onto the plate? Don't know. Probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe because they love their land no matter how polluted it gets. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. Alright, you guys should be able to redeem for Tifa now. Damn, Joker. <laughs> you got it. That's quick. Do you accept character name suggestions? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just straight up letting people spend their points because I don't really have a lot of other ways for people to spend their points right now. All right. Got it, Joker. Get over here, all y'all. When you've been a train man as long as I have, you see a lot of people in a lot of lives. People meeting, parting, joy, sadness. After a while, it doesn't even get to you anymore. I wonder how long it's been. There's an invisible rail between me and the passengers. I could never live their lives. I'm just a train man, plain and simple. It's easier that way. That's not to say that the crossing gate of my heart doesn't hurt now and again. Back during the war, I remember there was a lot of painful scenes then. But that's a story for another day. First train leaves Midgar at 5.04 a.m. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. Be back at the hideout. Move out. Probably departs for Midgar from the slums in Beard is what I'm guessing. Why not 5 a.m.? Uh, so... I, honestly, a lot of the, the train schedules, uh, at least, um, so train schedules are more dependent upon like the distance between places rather than evenly, like conveniently, they don't just like select, okay, it's going to be this specific round number that's uh, psychologically comforting for people, rather it's because of the, the distance and then the amount of time it takes to arrive in places. I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. Isn't there somewhere we could go to be alone? Wow. There's only the train graveyard around here. And they say there's ghosts around too. Damn. What? <laughs> I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> suddenly. Suddenly. Wow. the hell do you want you know who i am you can't pass i got the miserable job of keeping scum like you from trying to sneak in here <laughs> wow you're great damn right don't waste time talking is what i always say but uh i uh uh um excuse me you cannot pass without the proper clearance did i do good this time you gotta be tougher <laughs> but uh i the hell do you want? <laughs> man. We'll see the thing, Temu. If it leaves at 5.04, what if it arrives exactly at 
You feel me? Actually, you can pass. Yeah, that's the greatest irony. The fact that there's a speedrun route that... <laughs> uses, like, glitching your way through the guards here. To skip a chunk of the game. You can't pass, actually. <laughs> hey now, oops. What on earth are you doing? Just butt out, jeez. Huh? You come to see it too? There was a bombing on top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Well, there's no point in worrying about that. Hey, look, it's huge, ain't it? This is gonna look so cool. Fucking nice, man. Looks so good. The amount of, like, wear that they put on the pillar, the detail that they put into that. Also, I would like to point out that, like, their color choices for this game are, in a lot of scenes, just really... It's just really artfully done, man. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here any when you want. Bye, bro. Yo, half damage over here now! Drodius, welcome back, man. Probably touch you at Ekeen's sheet. No entry. I, I, you know, I need to pay more attention. I'm really curious. Can anybody... Who were the people primarily responsible for the backgrounds? Yeah, if you think about the process of modeling all of this, pre-rendered just mean it. They made three D models for shit. They just you can't uh, adjust the camera in real time, but they modeled all of this stuff, man. In other words, this game looks poggers. Yeah, pretty much. Tefer bar. <laughs> Tefer. So dope. Explosions, explosions. Oh man, Avalanche is so cool. Did you hear? No? What? There's a news update. They say that there was a terrorist explosion up above, and at this time it was a Mako reactor. You know what this means? No? What? You see, I keep on top of these things, and if you ask me, if you knock out Midgar's power, then all of its computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all. A lot of innocent people got killed, too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. This Mako explosion has really sent Midgar into a fit. As you might expect. These guys got run out of the bar. Oh, Jesus. What the hell's wrong tonight? I thought that long blockout was strange. They say a Mako reactor was destroyed above. I was just sitting here drinking, watching the news by myself, and all of a sudden I get kicked out of the fucking store. What's up with that? <laughs> Whoa, jeez, I'm blitzed. I just love them homemade cocktails, but they sure do creep up on you. I wasn't even done with my drink. I didn't even pay my bill. Don't be taken in by the Shinra. Mako energy will not last forever. Mako is the life of the planet, and that life is finite. The end is coming, saviors of the planet, Avalanche. What crappy handwriting, and look at all this graffiti. We're closed today. Come back tomorrow. You dried up old geese. Nothing. Cheap ass. Hey, hey, wait a minute, you. You can't just walk out of here without buying something. Might be unhealthy for you if you know what I mean. I don't understand the Cool Ranch meme. <laughs> I don't get it. We'll do our shopping tomorrow. Tamari. Hey, what the? You? Anyone talking to me must be a novice. 
I used to be with Soldier. The name's Half Damage. I got no business with you. Huh. Well, I never heard of you. Xenon, welcome back. What the T2? Welcome back, Xenon. Some of the game footage is cut. Huh? The shop screen missing a border to the left. Ah, so, all right. I wasn't going to say it, but let me tell you. Final Fantasy VII, is, the menus are not centered to your screen. <laughs> I hate to be the one to break this to you, but that's actually just how the game is. Um, here, I'll show you one sec. I'll cut the frame. And you can see it does cut off a little bit, but if you notice how close it is to the left side versus how far it is from the right side, uh, Final Fantasy VII itself is off center. The black bar at the bottom of the battle screen, that's, that's the game. That is... I wasn't going to say it, but... I'm not going to be blamed for this shit. <laughs> but you're right, Dream. You are right. I noticed it while I was setting uh, setting up yesterday. And it's not just this. It's also battle. Yeah. The, for whatever reason, you'll notice that it, 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 it fits perfectly when it's like this. But whenever you go to the menus or the battle screens, everything is... It's kind of like it's left aligned instead of center aligned. I don't know why. I don't know why. And yeah, it is a small detail that I noticed that I wasn't going to share with you guys. Because I didn't want to fuck it up. But y'all ain't blaming me. <laughs> okay, go on ahead. Alright, now that I've ruined Final Fantasy VII, let's just continue. <laughs> Yo, half damage. Get off your slow moving ass. Hey, man. What are the <laughs> The lights streaming out from the cracks within the boards. They did a lot with the light and shadow in this game. Even with like minimal animation, it creates a lot of atmosphere. Papa! Not Papa there. <laughs> Marlene, aren't you gonna say that half damage? He ain't Papa. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Welcome home, half damage. Looks like everything went well. Oh yeah. Also, the opening title sequence. The reason I didn't let it play out with the music and everything is because it goes outside of the border because it's in a different resolution. <laughs> Did you fight with Flyboy? Yeah. <laughs> I should have known. He's always pushing people around, and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. Alright, Joker, you got it. Ah. Oh! Perfect! Joker, do I have permission to alter your name a little bit? I kind of feel like it deserves an S at the end. Am I wrong? I feel like this is more appropriate in this case. <laughs> Flowers, how nice. Yeah, Vagrant Stories title screen also, there's a transition between the uh, opening sequence in the title screen and there's a little flicker on my device as a result of that as it has to adjust for the resolution switch you almost never see them here in the slums but a flower for me HD you shouldn't have thank you it smells wonderful maybe I should fill the store with flowers Tifa is Definitely top three Final Fantasy girls. It's real tough, though. It's real tough. Because her competition for that 
is also Rosa and Agrius, so... Tifa not even top one in this game. I mean, if you're talking about a trash pile, no, she's not on top of the trash pile. That would be Aerith. <laughs> of course. <laughs> ah, nothing like that drink. First drink after a job. <laughs> why don't you have one too? Yeah, why not? Well, that's more like it. Oh, Celis is great too, but I mean, Agrius and Rosa and Tifa, it's tough, man. Even if you were so with Soldier, you're still a rookie here, so you better listen to whatever I tell you. Uh-huh. This is him getting his full of himself. Some real Ovelia shade going on here. I don't know, man. I don't know. I like Ovelia, but... Joker Hams really knows how to cook. <laughs> anyway, let me tell you something about what. Joker Hams always lets me taste her cooking. And look at me now, I'm roly-poly. Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's the good food and drinks that made this shop famous. Sounds like a fucking advertisement. <laughs> Careless, you're getting all excited. Wonder what for. Oh, Ash is another really good one. I like Ash a lot. I just... Ash's visual character design uh, contrasts so much with her character that it kind of... It kind of actually does hurt it for me. I'm, I'm not even playing. I wish it didn't, but it does. Oh, half damage. Joker Hams really knows how to cook. All right, we already read this. Oh no, no, Ash is a great character. Her character development's really fun. Sorry, Marlene seems a little shy. You can read the mat. You can actually read it. It also says T for T Y F E R. Welcome to Tifer Bar. I can't believe you can actually fucking read it, man. It's so sick. Kitchen over here. The bar. Papa, welcome home. You all right, Flyboy? Great. <laughs> Get in here, fools. We start the meeting. <laughs> Sit down. How about something to drink give me something hard then I'll give you something hard <clears throat> just a minute I'll make one for you you know I'm relieved you made it back safely what's with you all of a sudden that wasn't even a tough job Ooh, Thomas. <laughs> asking the hard questions I I have s yeah Barrett's character, I, I I have some issues with him as a as a as a as a papa there, but I guess not. You were in soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Flyboy. Don't worry, once I get that money, I'm out of here. Enough damage. Are you feeling all right? Yeah. Why? No reason. You just look a little tired, I guess. You better go down below. Really cool. I don't. I won't want to say any spoiler stuff, but it's really cool when you know what Tifa's already thinking about at this point. Once you've played the game, in retrospect, knowing what's going through her mind right now, it's wild. Texas literally says Texas on the wall, and I hate it. That fucking. Hold on. Let me go back up. I am not gonna stand for the Tifa. Uh, slander there just let you let y'all know literally just says Texas on the wall and that I don't know man Texas is confirmed canon in the world of uh, 
People are asking if that says celery. I can't tell. Oops. Hey, look at the news. What a blast. I think it was all because of my bomb. But all I really did was make it like the computer told me. Oh no, I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. Made it like the computer told me. Hey, that was my bomb's debut. Kind of makes me makes me kind of proud. You think I'm a little too uptight? No. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about me. I don't look at, like it, but I'm a coward at heart. You kind of do look like it, though. Ah, uh, we can't get to. Today, the number one reactor was bombed. The terrorist avalanche, the terrorist group avalanche, has claimed responsibility for the bombing. It is expected avalanche will continue its reign of terror. With citizens of Midgar, there is no need to fear. I have immediately mobilized soldiers to protect our citizenry against this senseless violence. Thank you and good night. Yeah. So I guess that's President Shinra's first dialogue in the game. Yo, half damage. Just something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None. I'm positive. See, I'm pretty sure. If there was anything one from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. Don't go thinking you bad just because you was in Soldier. Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. I love the way Cloud's little model like bows up against Barrett there. Shucks, money. Papa, you're so great! Wait. Let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up. I don't care about either Shinra or Soldier. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. I'm looking at the whiteboard here. I'm trying to figure out. Did that correspond to what the reactor was like? Let me see. Is that the opening reactor layout? I can't tell. Is that a handgun drawn on the whiteboard? <laughs> Kinda looks like it. See this, the fucking ashtray on the table and all that shit. Straighten things up with everyone for me. Not you, Shinra! <laughs> Money. Oh my, it must have been for a lot of it. Sure, well, what the hell? It's a verbal agreement. Now let me figure this out. Let's stop it. Did you hear me? You say you don't care, but you came to talk to me. You just want friends, isn't that right? I really don't care. <laughs> You're terrible. Real cold-blooded. This guy is out, man. If you say blow off, he goes, Yeah, well, you kind of look lonely to me. If you ever got anything you want to get off your chest, you can always talk to me. The word on the pinball machine might be cowboy. Ah, maybe. You can see the light coming from. You can actually see 
part of the red banner that's actually down there. You see that? The little corner of the red and white banner? That was actually down there. God dang, that's so cool, man. The consistency. Listen, I'm asking you, please join us. Sorry. The planet is dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Flyboy and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving. You're just gonna walk right out, ignoring your childhood friend. Go, man. You forgot the promise, too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember, it was seven years ago. Look, the well. Do you remember? Yeah, some of the stuff is going to have been painted and some of it's going to have been modeled. I really don't know Turtle Wax, like, what the extent is. Yeah, back then. I thought you would never come and I was getting a little cold. Sorry I'm late. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Come this spring, I'm leaving this town for Midgar. All boys are leaving our town. I didn't have to wait, I know. <laughs> I know that, I remember that line. But I'm different from all of them. I'm not just gonna find a job. I wanna join Soldier. I'm gonna be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth, the great Sephiroth. Isn't it hard to join Soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. Will you be in the newspapers if you do well? I'll try. Hey, why don't we make a promise? Uh, if you ever really get famous and I'm in a bind, you'll come save me, alright? What? Whenever I'm in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. What? Come on, promise me. Alright, I promise. The thing about it, Tifa's got some ulterior motives to wanting to keep Cloud around right here. You remember now, don't you? Our promise? But it is out of concern for him. I'm not a hero and I'm not famous. I can't keep the promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on, you gotta keep your promise. Conveniently, a promise is a promise. Wait a sec, big time Soldier. Promise is a promise, here. Got his secret stash. This is my pay, don't make me laugh. What, then you'll... You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3,000. What? It's okay, it's okay. You're really hurting for help, right? Uh, that money's for Marlene's schooling. 2,000. Thanks. Makes half damage. All right, well, now Marlene's not gonna get an education. Good job, HD. <laughs> Thank you.
Half damage working for two thirds the weight. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Next to you, who wouldn't? I don't know what you mean. That line didn't make sense to me as a kid. And the reason why it didn't make sense to me is who the fuck would be able to sleep next? <laughs> I was always like, uh, uh, who is that a comp? Who the fuck would be able to sleep next to her? <laughs> Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. I'm right. I am right about this one. <laughs> I'm going this time. Yeah, Marlene's, Marlene's back there working. Our target's the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh... I don't really know how to use Materia. I'll give you that Materia you found. Just teach me how to use it. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> so this is what makes them guys and soldiers so great, huh? Okay, I'll ask Jesse again later, but you're in charge of the materia. I'm not doing that tutorial. Just for the sake of being a nice dude. <laughs> I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you. Don't forget. Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, good luck. My God. V, thank you for the gift to Tamu. Take care. All right, out of the T for bar. I love this place, man. I always have a, a winter vibe from this day. The sky. Ah, another slow day. If this keeps up, the store is going under. Can't sell any really good medicine in a slum like this. <laughs> what the hell is that? Like, I've always just accepted these things and never thought too much about what they actually were. What on earth? Oh, look at this. It doesn't happen every day. You a customer? It actually says Materia. You can see where it says it in English, item. Underneath it, in Kana, it says Materia as well. Yes, welcome. We sell. We buy. You can actually get your first fire Materia here, I guess. Get another one later anyway, but... It's either a heater or a still. It didn't really look like a heater to me, so it must be a still for making moonshine. Heater, chimney. Yeah, but there it didn't vent out the roof. Like, you can see the top of it where it's cut off. You see what I mean? Unless that's just supposed to be for us. But I wouldn't think so, because other things continue extending up, so I would expect it to extend up, too. It's both, a heater and a still. Oh, God. I mean, he is the drug, the drug man. That's the pharmacy. He sells that good quote unquote medicine.
Yesterday, everyone in town was peeking at the two of you from outside the bar. Joker Ham's childhood friend. That's a good one. I hope he doesn't get hurt. That's what worries me the most. Ah, uh, now I ain't got no one to pick on. I'm leaving. Going far away. But when I come back, I'll be a better man. This is goodbye. Hey, childhood friend, you better take good care of Joker's hams. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope he doesn't get hurt. That's what worries me the most. Meanwhile. Oh, I forgot to try to go in this house earlier. Because I think <laughs> I won't let you in. He used to give us nothing but headaches when he was here, but now that he's gone, I kind of miss him. Strange, isn't it? Ha <laughs> ha! I wonder if my son's already left. When it's just my wife in here, I hear, you have no idea how lonesome it gets. <laughs> and then they look at each other. <laughs> you want them to be happy and do what they want while they're young, but being a parent, you can't help but worry. I guess I'm not cut out to be a parent yet. <laughs> it's too late for that, buddy. By the way, where are you from? A village called Nibbleheim. Hmm, you said Nibbleheim? Wasn't it in the news a while back? Something to do with a reactor accident. That was the first major Mako accident, so I remember it being a really hot topic. Bum bum bum! You can actually get mention of Nibbleheim already here. The toilet sign in a private house, yeah. In English, of course. Oh, he gets fucking jackets up there, man. One bed for the whole family here. Fucking exhaust pipes. Got an engine taken apart in the floor. I don't know what sort of doll that is in that case. And I have no idea what that flag's supposed to be either. It looks like it's got a skull on top of a shield. Something like that. Yeah, no, this is a... These are exhaust pipes. Anyway, I'm gonna use their private toilet. They're stocked up on TP. Listen, if there isn't anyone to listen, what's the use of getting gossip on everyone? Yeah, and you, mister, I don't care. I'll get a little more information that would peak poke. <laughs> I'm sure that was supposed to be peak, even your interest. You wait and see, poke. It'll poke your interest. Okay. Ah, Johnny's gone. You look a little disappointed. I don't like to say it myself, but I'm just a lonely guy when I'm not drinking. Yeah, fair enough. Not you. Although we do need a shop. I guess let's get... We already have an assault gun. Let's get three iron bangles. He'll forget about it. Oh, you. Get my friend on the second floor to teach you. That he, he'll forget about it. He's actually talking about when he told Tifa to tell you to come check this out, say. That's what he was actually referring to. Only place in the game to get iron bangles? I'm not sure, but uh, I usually pick mine up there. Hey, you got one right off. That was materia. Next, take this treasure chest. An ether. I really love the limit break explanation. That sound effect, man. Smack knock help! 
You gotta hang in there. Your limit gauge is just starting to build. Wah! Okay, now your limit gauge is full. Go ahead and use it. Fight with your limit technique. Those chunky, thunky sounds, man. Great! Oh, that's a lady down there. Okay. This is the fabled save point. Holy shit. You can see things so well, man. When you leave Midgar, once you get to the world map, you can save anywhere you like. Remember that. <clears throat> I'll probably see you again somewhere on the road. Take care. <laughs> I'm a treasure chest. Beginners, make sure and keep an eye out for me. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Omni slap. <laughs> Glate. Yeah. This is a slum, so don't think you, so. Don't think you can stay for free. What are you gonna do? Doesn't just see in the bed make you sleepy? No way. Tough guy, huh? You better sleep when you can. You better save when you can. That's the trick to being tough. Remember that old dude? Jesus. Cigarette trash on the floor. The skull pillow. Bolt. <laughs> oh, I just noticed the uh, gravure pinup girl above the skull pillow. You see it, guys? I've never noticed that before. Yeah, it's a gun holster on the bed. Dude. Is that a strap on? No, I. It, it's a strap, but it ain't that. It's a gun. <laughs> oh, there's another gun under the skull pillow, is there? Hold on. No, dude, I don't. No, I'm not gonna pay you 10 gil. No. Listen, kid, I, I respect your entrepreneurial spirit, but fuck you. <laughs> yeah, there is another one. Underneath the pillow. <laughs> so cool, man. Yep, that's right. Street Fighter 2 is 30 years old. I would like to say thank you to Cloud for jumping. All right, let's see. He's the only one with connected equipment right now. Oh wait. There we go. Much better. Probably better to be offensive here. Unfortunately, Tifa starts a lot lower level and also has lower stats, so uh, that 14 strength of hers means that despite kind of being a physical fighter setup, she didn't really do that much damage in the beginning, but she makes up for that shit later on. She goes crazy. All right, I think we've pretty fully explored the environments here. Oh yeah, there's another Texas sign above the bar. Texas. Good old. <laughs> is that what it's? Is that what it says? It's got a longhorn on it too. That's cowboy gold. That's it. Texas cowboy gold. And then it's got that longhorn. It's all boarded up, man. Man, I think this is gonna be a appreciate every fucking little detail of the environments run at this rate because holy hell.
All right. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick, guys. Grab yourselves a, a drink and a snack. I will be right back, and we are going to take on the next reactor. Be right back, guys.